Hello and welcome to Regenerative Cannabis Live. My name is Patrick McCartan, CEO of Regenibus and co-founder of Regenerative Cannabis Live. It is with deep gratitude to welcome you to this inaugural event with special thanks to the United Nations for their advisory support. We are so excited to have you here to participate in our first event organized by the Regenibus Group. I want to thank the hard work and dedication of my team and my colleague Jeff Trotter at Regenibus and Simona Georgescu and the team at Juco Communications who worked tirelessly from day one to make this event a reality. We believe that the cannabis industry has the opportunity at the micro, meso and macro level to systemically set about creating shared value for all stakeholders through a focus on economic, environmental, social and governance factors. And by addressing these opportunities in parallel, cannabis corporations can be a significant driver to deliver solutions to many of humanity's greatest challenges and deliver regenerative growth for all. The cannabis and hemp industry is uniquely positioned to be a game changer. In order to realize its full potential, we must educate, normalize, legalize, and regulate cannabis and hemp globally, because we know that this will drive sustainable development and transform countries' economic, social, and environmental impact, and in turn, contribute to the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals, also known as the SDGs. We believe that there is a need to create a disruptive and innovative community driven by exponential actions in alignment with the SDGs. The mainstreaming of cannabis involving global corporations has already begun with brands such as Heineken, Levi's, Patagonia, Nestle, 3M, Molson Coors and PepsiCo using hemp materials, CBD, to build new cannabis-based brands. We believe cannabis and hemp will disrupt every industry from fashion to food to fibers, fuels, even pharma, in a sustainable way. This event is the first in a series of regenerative cannabis live events curated by Regenibus that will be held twice per year through to 2030 in what we call the Decade of Action. This first virtual only event will be followed by our second event to be held both in person at the United Nations headquarters in New York on October the 27th, 2021, with a simultaneous live streaming experience open to all. The overarching aim of this event series is to deliver authentic action-oriented discussion that will explore how cannabis and hemp can drive sustainable development globally. These events will convene the ecosystem of action-oriented stakeholders from government officials, corporate executives, investors, and media to civil society and non-governmental organizations, along with influencers from the arts and entertainment world. Together, we will explore the economic, social, and environmental impacts that legally regulated and normalized cannabis and hemp industry could create. Over the next two days, the six panels will focus on the key topics within three core areas, one economic, two social, and three env environmental. The economics panel will explore how ESG, environmental social governance, and a fully regulated and legalized cannabis industry will spur economic growth. The social panels will explore how restorative justice will pave a critical path forward and how diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, will drive regenerative growth for all. The environmental panels will discuss how sustainable packaging and regenerative agriculture, driven by the creation of an industrial hemp industry, will have a game-changing impact on our global environment. We hope this event inspires ideas and discussion around how to build a better world through cannabis and hemp. And now I would like to extend a warm welcome to our guest of honor, presidential candidate for 2022, Senator Juan Galan of Colombia, who will now share his vision for a sustainable future in Colombia and Latin America with cannabis and hemp.